is up you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're an og subscriber and been waiting forever for me to post another video uh welcome to my channel if you're new um my name is katia this is me returning back to youtube you're like for those who might not know who follow me on just youtube you might not have seen my last video but i was going through the cpa examinations and i'm happy to report that i have finally passed all of them so yeah super stoked about that so i just want to sit down here and kind of talk about it briefly so if you have come over here from the reddit group as well what's up how you doing anyways so at the end of this i will leave the floor in the comment section for you guys to ask any questions more so about the cpa exams and whatnot but I'm just here to kind of talk about just the general experience that I had through the CPA. And I just want to, yeah, talk about like the books I use, um, anything supplementary I might have used to help me get through it. The order I took the exams in, my methodology for how I chose to take the exams in the order that I did. Um, and yeah, just my life circumstances. All that kind of stuff to just kind of put into perspective what went into me and my journey going through it because it looks different for everyone so starting off with just the general books and supplies that i used i went with becker kind of saw it from the beginning picture in or my thumbnail whatever you want to call it that yes i used becker and i would say i used like 90 percent becker because i had also purchased um it's called oh gosh universal cpa i remember someone reached out to me and like i, f I just got like a really good deal on it it was like two or three hundred dollars for it um and it was just like all online they didn't have books or anything of the sort and i only used that for videos i never used their multiple choice or simulation bank i only used it for videos and i found myself i only used it really for far and a little bit of audits and then maybe a few for reg and bec but i didn't find it super useful for those two to be honest i know you can find a lot of their videos as well on youtube and so i would say 90 percent becker like five percent universal cpa and five percent youtube and the internet for questions that i might have or help so overall yes i think becker is a great program no matter what program you go to ultimately it comes down to sticking with it there's people who 100 percent pass only using becker people who only use roger people who use many other systems out there to pass the cpas i remember just reading on reddit people will be like oh but i also bought extra questions for on ninja on this and that and it might feel necessary for some so i can't say you don't need it but I am here to say and show that I'm proof that you can use one program, stick to it for just like the multiple choice questions or whatnot and pass the exams. So moving on forward, just to give you kind of preface of where I'm coming from as well when it comes to sitting for the exams and my schedule and whatnot, I am working full time. I have been working full time the time I was going through the exams. Sorry, I didn't realize my card was full. Anyways, like I was saying, I've been working full time throughout the exams other things that i have going on in my life um i have a boyfriend so that's a full-time job in and of itself i mean luckily he has been studying for his lsat to go to law school so he understands fully my schedule um, i also compete in bodybuilding so the gym is a big part of my schedule i did reduce like the days that i go to the gym from like six days to four days a week but i still would kind of go in just to like walk on the treadmill or stretch and whatnot so i was at the gym almost every day it just depended if i needed to go um and sometimes i would just use that time to like study i would bring my book and read on the treadmill but um more information on that and like my schedule can be in a different video if you guys are curious about how i scheduled out everything i also have commitments to my church because i play in the worship band about once a month so that's another commitment I have. Um, and of course I have family and there's family events, friends, birthdays, and I don't want to completely seclude myself from them. So that's why I took some time uh, from beginning to end of taking my exams. 
So going over the order that I took the exams in, as well as the scores that I ended up getting and whether or not like I retook the exam, all that kind of fun stuff. I'm just going to break that all down for you. The first exam I took was FAR. I sat for that May 9th of 2022. I passed that the first time with a 75, so the perfect score that you needed. Then the second exam I took was audit. I sat for that on August 8th of that same year. I didn't pass it and I got a 59 the first time. And then I sat for it a second time on October 17th of that same year and then I passed it with an 80. Then my third exam I took was regulations. I sat that on for the first time on March 8th of 2023. Did not pass that with a 66. Then I retook it on April 14th, 2023 and passed that with an 81. Then my last exam was BEC and I took that September of 2023 and I passed that with a 79. So all in all, I took the exams a total of six times, which I think is still above the average that people take. Um, and I just wanna encourage people who are going about retaking an exam a first time not passing is not a failure. It just means you didn't pass. It doesn't mean you can't pass it. So if you would like for me to also talk about strategies for retaking the exam so that I was able to go from a freaking 59 to an 80 with audit and a 66 to an 81 with regulations, please let me know and I'd be happy to make a video about strategies to, that I went about when it came to retaking the exams. Um, because I noticed between each exam, my study strategies kind of changed up a bit. You have to have some flexibility when it comes to that. But overall, yeah, I know it took some time in between. Like I was saying, I work full time, so I wanted to take my time with these exams, making sure I understood it, stood the material. Plus, I'm quite a slow learner. I have ADHD, ADD, like a freaking golden retriever. So I just, it takes me a longer time to really understand things. I know for some people, you know, you go on YouTube and you look up like CPA exam info. You find these videos of like how I pass all four exams in four or five months. And you think it's that realistic. It's that easy. One, no, that's honestly not very realistic. They are like a 1% group that get it done in that matter of time. If you are on the Reddit sub or like the subreddit group for the CPA um, candidates, You'll find that many people do not pass the exams the first time. It is completely normal. To, to let you know, like, if you Google the passing rates for these exams, they're pretty darn low and low for a reason because they're difficult exams. So if you've even passed one of your exams and you're studying for the rest of them, congratulations. Like, this is, this is a tough thing. This is literally the bar for accountants. So this is not an easy task by any means. But anyways, um, I'm not sure what more I should say, at least in this video. I just wanted to address the fact that, yeah, I did it. Um, I still have to take this, the California ethics exam to actually get my license and then get my hour signed off, which that part's the easy part. So yes, please, in the comment section below, leave any questions you have regarding the exam, whether you are about to start your journey, you're midway through your journey, or maybe you finished yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, this is something I wish I knew that people need to know when it comes to the CPA or advice that you should possibly give because maybe I had questions of this myself and was never able to find those answers. Please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, yeah, if so if you're a candidate, please subscribe and yeah, follow along and I'm happy to make more videos of that. If you're here for the fitness content, I am getting back into that as well because I have begun prep for my next competition actually quite a while back. I began it um, about midway through when I was studying for BEC because I figured by the time I would take BEC, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be too depleted where I'd feel brain dead. So I still had enough energy to take the exam. So I'm not competing until about December. But anyways, yes, I love you guys. Subscribe, like this video, and then yeah, please just let me know. Comments, questions, all that kind of fun stuff to talk about the CPA exam. If you want fitness related content, please also comment what kind of stuff you would like me to make. Um, I hope to come up with some more reviews and whatnot in the near future. 
But as for now, I will let you all go. Have a wonderful day. Good luck with your studies. If you're doing the exams right now, you will rock it. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye.